when there is great dearth of good and inspiring literature the founder of shanti kunj had about 25 years back written commentaries on four vedas eight purans 108 upanishad six marshas 24 gitas aranakya brahmans etc and had made them easily available to all at modest prices appropriate literature with a view of providing practical solutions to the forbidding problems of present day life is also being continuously written and it has influenced the hearts and minds of millions of people the series of pragya puran are novel creations in which philosophy has been explained in simple easily understandable style through mediums of tales and stories book title my life its legacy and message authoring 3200 books which are extract of four vedas eight purans 108 upanishad six marsha 24 gita aranakya brahmans etc establishing a board of saptarishi at shanti kunj tirth on foot hills of dev bhumi himalayas in haridwar establishing 2400 pragya peet and 12000 pragya sansthan that is energy center throughout india integrating science and spirituality at research center brahma varchas analyzing impact of yoga pranayam gayatri mantra vedic chants yagya ayurveda type of food handling publication of thought revolutionizing magazine akhand jyoti and yug nirman yojana having lakhs of subscribers touching and transforming life of millions on global stage all this in a single lifetime makes pandit shri ram sharma acharya a yug rishi saint of the era reading the 200 page autobiography of the enlightened soul will leave readers awestruck this autobiography gives an insight to his intense practice that is sadhana done for 24 years chanting 24 lakh gayatri mantra per year while living on only barley and buttermilk barefooted reaching nandan forest passing amidst ferocious wild animals and herds of lions meeting his master and saptarishis of satyug in astral form and taking forward their tradition at yug tirth shanti kunj contributing actively in india's independence lovingly referred to as shri ram mat dividing self into five astral forms by sukshmikaran sadhana for the benefit of the masses before leaving the physical body a normal human would need several births to complete such a superhuman task and this is not even all for he had put strict restrictions on publicizing any of his known deeds leave aside the ones that were known to him alone Shri Ram Sharma Acharya and his Gurudev Gurudev was born in 1911 even the age of 10 he was a curious scientific mind and aimed to investigate how siddhis that is spiritual awakening could happen by sadhana on advice of Madan Mohan Malviya ji he made a routine of chanting five mala of gayatri mantra twice a day one basant parv during early morning hours he saw the astral body of yogi in an aura of light his spiritual master who showed him his past three lives his constant effort in spiritual journey and made him experience real yog nidra which is jagrat samadhi he told him about his four to be future visits to himalayas and explained about the astral body and divine souls which exist in the region of himalayas these facts that is of higher souls akin to a divine parliament residing in the himalayan region are also illustrated in a book by madam velvet sky founder of theosophy gurudev then completely surrendered himself to his master and followed three principles first 24 gayatri mahapurush charans that is 24 lakh gayatri mantra chant and living only on barley and buttermilk for 24 years lightning of grit diya writing books and prompting it to masses along with public contact to develop organizational skills he also participated in india's independence ek yug dharma was lovingly called as sri ram mat for his contribution 
he also was in tug of war with family pressure of material world and spiritual world he used silence as a tool to continue his spirituality journey he used to read 80 pages in 2 hours people used to refer to him as an encyclopedia a glimpse of his massive reading can be seen in monthly magazine akhand jyoti and yug nirman yojana he authored the first successful trip to himalayas full of hazard danger and adversity went barefooted from rishikesh to gomukh from uttarkashi to nandanvan the journey was extremely adverse with cold ice breeze darkness and loneliness of himalayas sunlight between 10 am to 2 pm only and wild ferocious animals in big groups from pythons to lions passing nearby all the time but this was the test to overcome fear loneliness and survival in the extreme met his master went to deep yog nindra by spell of brahma kamal and all his fatigue vanished and had dev khand which can take care of your food needs for almost a week the three next visits to himalayas and future plans were laid out thought revolution akhand jyoti publication was established in mathura as per his master's guidance in no time it reached from 2k to lakhs of subscribers when gurudev's 24 years of tapasya was completed mahayagya for purnahuti was organized the food made for a few thousands was sufficient for lakhs of people who joined and many such experiences were witnessed the mahayagya connected lakhs of parijans who took pledge to give up vices blind faith and evil customs for example extravaganza show of marriage and dowry after mahabharat this was first event of such a magnitude gurudev then toured for nearly 2 years in almost all india and had delivered several conferences and lectures amongst intellectuals established 2400 shakti peet and inspired many devoted parijans gurudev's wife Mata Bhagwati Devi Sharma was totally surrendered and devoted to his mission. Abode of Saptarishi Shanti Kunj Haridwar. In next visit, he got to meet rishis from Satyug in astral form in an inaccessible region of Himalayas who asked him to complete their incomplete task. And so Shanti Kunj was established on the foothills of Himalayas by giving up an astral property and each and every penny he had bhagirath bought ganga and today shanti kun shavas ganga of knowledge as per current times charak rishi who is said to have had conversation with herbs while experimenting in inaccessible kedarnath bought him with the herbal medicine this work of reviving ayurveda is carried out in shanti kunj maharishi vyas wrote purans at nar narayan range in badrinath founder of shanti kunj has written books covering four vedas eight purans 108 upanishad six marshas 24 gitas aranyak brahmanas etc in easy language available at negligible cost patanjali's research on yoga is carried out by giving training in hatha yoga kaya kalp asan and pranayam yagya valkya work on yagya is undertaken at brahma varchas where experiment on yagya is conducted checking impact on positive ions in atmosphere rainfall cure to various diseases vishwamitra was the discover of gayatri mantra his work has been revived by conducting research on power of sound and technique of savitri Dev Rishi Narad's work of public awakening and playing veena is undertaken by Yug Nirman Music Training School of Shanti Kunj. Adi Shankaracharya works of establishing four dhams and awakening is done by 2400 Pragya Peet and 12000 Pragya Sansthan. Swadhyay Mandal by Shanti Kunj. Rishi Piplad's work on the effect of food on mind is undertaken by Amritasan experiment in Shanti Kunj. Like Harsh Vardhan, who donated all his wealth at Harki Pauri Haridwar, founder of Shanti Kunj has also done the same. Kannada Rishi work of integrating science and spirituality is conducted in Brahma Varchas. It is important to note that atmosphere of Shanti Kunj is extremely charged and pious. Sadhana Upasana and Aradhana.
साधना एंड उपासना जीवन साधक इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेगुलर प्रैक्टिसेस फीलिंग वननेस विद गॉड कॉन्स्टेंट सेल्फ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन सेल्फ प्यूरिफिकेशन सेल्फ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड सेल्फ ग्रोथ आराधना मीन्स सर्विसिंग द ब्यूटिफुल गार्डन ऑफ डिवाइन गुरुदेव हैज बीन स्पेंडिंग फोर आवर्स इन साधना एंड उपासना ट्वेल्व आवर्स इन आराधना बाय राइटिंग बुक्स फॉर रिफाइनमेंट ऑफ माइंड एंड एटीट्यूड ऑफ पीपल एंड बाय इंस्पायरिंग एंड प्रोवाइडिंग गाइडेंस टू ट्रूली एस्पायरिंग सोल्स सूक्ष्मीकरण साधना ऑन राम नवमी इन 1984. ड्यूरिंग फोर्थ विजिट टू हिमालय गुरुदेव मास्टर एडवाइज हिम टू डू सूक्ष्मीकरण साधना फॉर डिविजन इन टू फाइव एस्ट्रल बॉडीज टू कंप्लीट बिलो फाइव वर्क वन प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ एटमोसफियर सेकेंड रिफाइनमेंट ऑफ द एटमोसफियर थर्ड अशरिंग ऑफ न्यू एरा फोर्थ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ डेंजर ऑफ मास डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड फिफ्थ क्रिएशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डिविनिस्ड ह्यूमिनिटी दैट इज देव मानव सिंस इन एस्ट्रल फॉर्म वन कुड ट्रैवल लाइक लाइट एंड इन्फ्लुएंस माइंड एंड थॉट्स फ्यू एग्जर्ब फ्रॉम द बुक अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन पेशेंस एंड डिवोशन क्रिएट्स द फॉर्म बैकग्राउंड फॉर स्पिरिचुअल अवेकनिंग एम ऑफ डिवोशन इज अटेनमेंट ऑफ गॉड अवेयरनेस बट टू स्टैब्लिश अ लिंक विद गॉड द इनविजिबल इट इज नेसेसरी टू टेक सपोर्ट ऑफ सम विजिबल दिस नीड कैन बी फुलफिल्ड बाय आइडल ऑफ गॉड और बाय सम लिविंग गुरु ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल अटेनमेंट आई फॉलोड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नो फूड विदाउट साधना दिस विल कंटिन्यू टिल माई लास्ट ब्रेथ साधना इज लाइक टू ब्लॉसिंग फ्रेंड्स हु हैव टू बॉडीज विथ वन माइंड एंड सोल सिटिंग टूगेदर इन सच इंटीमेसी वन हैज टू सरेंडर टू द अदर अ डिवोटी हैज टू मोल्ड हिज लाइफ and surrender himself to god the power of gayatri mata started reflecting as shraddha in the astral body illumination pragya in casual body and determination nishtha in physical body strict introspection was done from time to time to ensure this was not mere wishful thinking for me doing upasana for a fixed period daily is a process of recharging myself with spiritual energies which keep me full of divine bliss throughout the day i spend every moment blissfully experiencing myself in god and god in me in such a state of spiritual consciousness one takes ups and downs of life in one's stride there is neither joy nor sorrow an undaunting ocean of bliss appears all around when a respectable guest pays a visit or there is a function the entire house is whitewashed if god is to be invited to occupy the chamber of our heart it must be first clean of all dirt and dross which fills it for this one must take resources to self introspection self purification self transformation and self growth do not accumulate scatter sow and reap the fundamental principles of tapascharya that is penance are self restraint that is sanyam and proper utilization of resources by observing restraints of sense organ that is indriya sanyam a man must remain healthy and the store of his will power never gets exhausted by observing restrictions in terms of spending money that is artha sanyam simple average citizen and maintain himself on his self on honest earning best utilization of one's time is known as samay sayam in which a set work routine has to be followed and body and mind are applied to specific useful pursuits this leaves no time for indulging in evil deeds by exercising restraint in respect of thoughts that is vichar sayam the outlook of a person becomes devout spiritual and religious and it becomes easy for him to perform sadh of bhakti yogi gyan yog and karma yog self restraint sayam means saving by exercising sayam of these four kinds much energy is saved after meeting worldly needs and which can be utilized in serving noble purposes if the two principles of atmavat sarvabhuteshu that is seeing one own atma in all living being and vasudev kutumbakam that is to consider oneself as member of one integrated family are followed 
पीपल विल इमीडिएटली बी एबल टू नो विच अनडिजायरेबल टेंडेंसीज एंड वाइसेज आर लॉग्ड इन साइड दैन सेल्फ्स एंड हाउ मच स्ट्रगल एंड करेज इज रिक्वायर टू गेट रिड ऑफ दैम देर इज गोइंग टू बी वन वर्ल्ड वन लैंग्वेज वन कल्चर इन द नियर फ्यूचर द डे इज नॉट फार ऑफ वैन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ कलर कास्ट क्लास सेक्स एंड मनी विल एंड फ्यू चैप्टर्स कवर्ड इन द बुक फर्स्ट द नीड ऑफ इन डेप्थ सर्वे ऑफ माई लाइफ सेकेंड द सनराइज ऑफ माई लाइफ फॉर्च्यून थर्ड गाइडलाइंस बाय गुरुदेव अबाउट माई फ्यूचर लाइन ऑफ एक्शन फोर्थ फर्स्ट कॉल ऑफ गुरुदेव फिफ्थ सेकेंड राउंड ऑफ पिलग्रमेज एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ फील्ड ऑफ वर्क सिक्स रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ टेक्निक ऑफ सबलाइन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड हाउ आई इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस इन माई लाइफ सेवेंथ माइंड ऑफ ब्रह्मनाज एक्शन ऑफ ऋषि एट्थ विजिबल अटेनमेंट ऑफ साधना एंड सिद्धीज नाइन्थ फोर्थ एंड फाइनल पिलग्रमेज टू हिमालयाज एंड टेंथ माई रिक्वेस्ट एंड अश्योरेंस टू माई एसोसिएट्स एंड कोलेबोरेटर्स